This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to take a look at the law of sines and we're going to use it to find an angle in this triangle. This triangle is not a right triangle. and That's why we're using the law of sines and not just your basic right triangle Sokotoa trigonometry. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is uh, figure out how to use the formula. So I have to put up the formula. All right, so there it is. There's the formula. And now what we're going to do to use it is um, you'll notice that there's an A, B, and C in the formula. So we're going to use that A, B, and C in our, uh, on our triangle too. So arbitrarily, I'm just going to start labeling things. Like for instance, I'm going to call this angle A, angle B, and angle C. All right, in making this choice of A, B and C, um, it's also known that opposite angle A is little a, opposite angle B is little b, so the 60 feet is side B, and then here's angle C, so opposite it, opposite it, that is, is side C. So now I have all sides labeled, all angles labeled, now I can use the formula. Uh, you'll also make a note here that I do not have any information regarding A at the moment. I don't know the angle. I don't know the side. So I'm not going to use this fraction. So what I'm going to do is use the other two fractions. So I'm going to put the sine of B over little b. I'm going to put the sine of C over little c. All right, well, what's B? Big B, we don't know. It's unknown. Uh, I do know little b is 60. Let's see, I know c, big C is 25 degrees, and little c is 50. All right, just like uh, I would solve any proportion or any two fractions that are equal, I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply 50 times the sine of x. I'm going to multiply 60 times the sine of 25. All right, so I get that picture. All right, next, what I want to do is solve for the sine of x. I, I can't immediately get to the uh, solution for x, but I can figure out what the sine of x is equal to. So to figure out what sine of x is, I have to divide by 50, right, because it's being multiplied here. So the opposite of multiplication is divide. So I divide both sides by 50. So I'm going to take this 60 sine of 25, and I'm going to divide it by 50. All right, so I'm going to plug this into a calculator and see what I get. All right, so I get sine of x is 0.507. All right, now it turns out that if I want to get x, I have to take the inverse sine to cancel the sine. So I'm going to do the inverse sine of both sides. And the reason why I'm doing that is because inverse sine and sine, they cancel each other, and that's just going to give us the value for x. So again, I have to plug this into a calculator. And that's equal to 30.4 degrees. So if I round that to the nearest degree, it looks like it's very close to 30 degrees. And there you go. I have my angle. So I'm going to throw that into the picture. It looks like X. Remember that X stood for angle B. So it's right over here. So I'm going to put a 30 degrees right there. All right, so what I'd like to do is not only find x, I'd like to solve the entire triangle. I'd like to find all missing sides and angles. And right now I'm missing angle A. So there is the triangle, uh, some of the internal angles of a triangle, like angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna get 55, so I'm going to subtract 55 from both sides, and we get 125. 
All right, so now I know angle A is 125 degrees. All right, what we're going to do now is find the last piece of information we need to find, which is side A. And again, we're going to use the law of sines to do that. So I'm going to clear out this space so I make room for more work. All right, before we set up the problem with all this extra space that I have here, uh, let it be known that the small angle should be opposite the smallest side. The medium angle, the middlemost angle, should be opposite the middlemost side or the medium side. So since I know that this is a very large angle, I know that this A has to be the longest side. So I do know that this answer has to be larger than 60 if this triangle is going to make sense. All right, so keep that in mind. Our answer is going to be larger than 60. And it looks like substantially larger, larger than 60 as well. All right, so since I have to calculate A, I'm going to definitely use this first fraction for A. So I'm going to put sine of big A over little a, which is unknown. Okay, now of these two fractions that we have left, we want to decide which to use. Now it turns out I could either use the 30 and the 60 side, or I could use the 25 degrees and the 50 side. Since I have this choice, uh, I'm not going to use the 30 because that was an estimated angle. I'm going to go with the original information with the 25 degrees. and I'm going to go with its opposite side, 50. And there you have it. I've got the setup. All right, so the setup is there. Now we cross multiply like we do any proportion. So A times the sine of 25. And we're going to multiply these together, 50, sine 125. Okay. So we have that set up. Now to calculate for A, we have to divide both sides by the sine of 25. I've got to divide the left side and I have to divide the right side. So I'm going to take the 50 sine of 125 and I'm going to divide that by the sine of 25. Okay, so I'm going to divide those and now I should get an approximation for A. So I'm going to throw this in a calculator to see what I get. Okay, I get 96.9. Of course, this would be feet. All right, so I'm going to put that in the diagram. I'm going to put in the 96.9. That makes sense. We do have the largest side, as we predicted it would be. All right, so that's what we did. We just used the law of sines. We used it first to calculate this angle, and then we used it to calculate a side just like um, we would any other way. All right, so remember law of sines is used on triangles that do not have a right angle, um, and that's why it's so powerful. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out all our interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and lessons. Take care.